International Convention on Civil Liability for Oil Pollution Damage, CLC, 1969. Adoption, the 29th of November 1969. Entry into force, the 19th of June 1975. Purpose of Civil Liability Convention. The Civil Liability Convention was adopted to ensure that adequate compensation is available to persons who suffer oil pollution damage resulting from maritime casualties involving oil carrying ships. Civil Liability Convention applies to to all seagoing vessels actually carrying oil in bulk as cargo, but only ships carrying more than 2,000 tons of oil are required to maintain insurance in respect of oil pollution damage. CLC does not apply to warships or other vessels owned or operated by a state and used for the time being for government non-commercial service. CLC is applicable to persistent oils only, e.g. crude oil when carried as cargo. The Civil Liability Convention is the first tier of oil pollution compensation mechanism. Civil Liability Convention requires the following. Strict liability. Compulsory insurance cover. Strict liability. If an oil pollution incident has happened from an oil tanker due to collision, grounding etc. and there are claims arising from it, then without any delay, ship owner of oil tanker from which oil spill incident has happened has to pay for the claims. Oil tanker owner has to prove his innocence and if proved by oil tanker owner, that oil spill incident has happened not due to his fault, then he can later claim from the party at fault. In three conditions, the oil tanker will not have to pay anything. Act of God. Act of war or sabotage. When the relevant government authorities have not acted responsibly in maintaining the navigational aids, depths of water within their area and this leads to a pollution incident. Compulsory insurance cover. Owner of a oil tanker is required to maintain a compulsory insurance. Insurance is provided by P&I Club and this insurance indemnifies ship owner in event of an oil pollution incident. Limit of liability is per CLC convention. In case of oil spill incident, ship owner can limit his liability. As for ease of learning, on x-axis there is gross tonnage and on y-axis there is amount to be paid in SDR. Ship owner of oil tanker up to 5000 GT can limit his liability up to 4.51 million SDR. Ship owner of oil tanker between 5,000 and 1 GT to 140,000 GT can limit his liability up to 4.51 million SDR plus 631 SDR per GT. Ship owner of oil tanker more than 140,000 and 1 GT and above can limit his liability up to 89.77 million SDR. CLC is the first tier of oil pollution compensation mechanism. What is SDR? SDR means is special drawing right. It is not a currency, it is an international reserve asset. SDR value is based on a basket of five currencies, the US dollar, the euro, the Chinese renminbi, the Japanese yen, and the British pound sterling. Procedure for obtaining CLC certificate. As per oil tanker gross tonnage, ship particulars etc. Ship owner give premium to P&I Club. After getting premium, P&I Club issues, blue card, to ship owner. Ship owner shows blue card document to flag state, who then issues the oil tanker a CLC certificate. In case of oil pollution incident, P&I Club will pay the claim to parties affected by oil pollution incident. Validity of CLC certificates is one year. A copy of CLC certificate should be kept in board. Fund Convention was adopted on the 18th of December 1971 and entered into force on the 16th of October 1978. Like CLC is the first tier of oil pollution compensation mechanism, Fund Convention is the second tier of the oil pollution compensation mechanism. History behind Fund Convention in 1969 Brussels Conference a proposal to establish an international fund was made, in which persons, organizations who has cargo interests will also become party. In 1971, an international fund for compensation for oil pollution damage was adopted at a conference held in Brussels. It is supplementary to the Civil Liability Convention. Aim of Fund Convention the main aim of Fund Convention was to provide additional compensation to the victims of pollution damage in cases where compensation under the 1969 Civil Liability Convention was 
either inadequate or unobtainable. The fund is not obliged to indemnify the owner if damage is caused by his willful misconduct or if the accident was caused, even partially, because the ship did not comply with certain international conventions. As per IOPC Fund Convention, the person, organization who has received a total quantities of oil exceeding 150,000 tons in any calendar year is known as contributor and will annually contribute to the fund. The maximum amount available for every incident per year is 203 million SDR and this includes the payment by the oil tanker owner under the CLC, CLC plus fund equals 203 million SDR. India is a party to CLC and fund convention. Is any Indian oil company party to fund convention? Yes. Indian Oil Corporation Limited, IOCL, is one of the example of a contributor, as it imports more than 150,000 tons of oil every year and is contributing in fund convention. International Oil Pollution Compensation Supplementary Fund, 2003, Supplementary Fund. Supplementary Fund Protocol was adopted in 2003 and entered into force in 2005, thereby establishing the International Oil Pollution Compensation Supplementary Fund, 2003. Supplementary Fund provides additional compensation beyond the amount available under the 1992 Fund Convention in 1992 Fund member states which are also parties to the protocol. Total amount available for compensation for each incident is 750 million SDR, it including the amounts payable under the 1992 conventions. CLC plus fund plus supplementary fund equals 750 million SDR. All three oil pollution compensation. Mechanism. Civil liability convention is the tier 1. Ship owner of oil tanker a party to it. Fund convention is the tier 2. Oil importing companies are a party to it. Supplementary fund is the tier 3, countries importing oil more than 1 million tons. Supplementary fund is optional whereas CLC and fund convention is mandatory. India is a party to CLC and fund convention. India is not a party to supplementary fund. Most important chart for exams. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe this video among your friends and colleagues. Join our Telegram channel for latest maritime updates and exams preparations.